Today, we're going to walk through the best calibration settings for the Acer Nitro 15272U monitor. If you're looking to get the best image quality, here's how to set things up. For the gamma, set it to 2.2. This will give you a balanced image, where the midtones are accurate and the blacks aren't too dark or the whites too bright. It helps create a more natural and comfortable viewing experience. When adjusting the color temperature, set the mode to user mode. Then tweak the color gain settings like this, green to 47, blue to 51, and red to 52. This gives you vibrant, true-to-life colors. If you want a more neutral balance, you can set red, green, and blue all to 50 which should give you a nice, balanced look. For brightness and contrast, it all depends on your lighting. Here's a quick guide for different brightness levels. If you want 200 nits, set the brightness to 67. For 120 nits, go with 51, and for 180 nits, set it to 33. If you're aiming for 15 nits, set the brightness to 8. As for contrast, set it to 49 for a nice middle ground between dark and light areas. In additional settings, you should turn off super sharpness. This option can add artificial edge enhancements that can distort the image. If you're watching HDR content, switch to HDR 400 mode for the best brightness and contrast. To make your gameplay smoother, enable adaptive sync. This reduces screen tearing and makes the experience more fluid. With adaptive sync turned on, overdrive will automatically adjust to reduce ghosting. If you want to reduce motion blur, you have two choices, normal or extreme. Normal reduces blur with minimal brightness loss, while extreme further reduces blur but might lower brightness and cause some artifacts.